Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the Obelisk Lounge. My name is Justice, and this reading is just going to be like a really quick one because I just want to know if he did or not like everybody else, right? Because we know, you know, that people with a lot of money, like they can fake their deaths and stuff like that. I don't know if he's faking. I really don't know. That's why I'm going to do, um, that's why I'm doing this reading to see if he is. I got the same questions that some other people got. You know what I'm saying? Um, is he dead or is he alive? So Elevated Ancestors is Jeffrey Epstein. Is he dead or is he alive with a new, with a new attitude? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was... <laughs> I'm so I'm so silly and it's late. But anywho, Elevated Ancestors is Jeffrey Epstein dead? Or is he alive living a new life? Or a new life with a new identity? One more time. Oh, he did, y'all. <laughs> Look at the rooster. <laughs> Look at the rooster. <laughs> That's why I wanted to use this deck. <laughs> he gone, okay? He legit is gone. Like, he he is dead. And he was killed. He was backstabbed, five of spades. He legit was killed by the other, um, by the elites, right? And I hate to even say that because that sounds so conspiracy theory-esque. But, um, but he was, like, other people, you know, who were in his network within his framework they did actually conspire to kill him and um mm, you know i'm feeling like now i don't know how to pronounce that lady name so forgive me her reading coming up next okay guess G gilane is it gilane or guess lane gilane but anywho that lady right um his accomplice um i she she was aware that they were actually going to go ahead and kill him. I'm not sure if she was conspiring yet, if she was conspiring to go ahead um, and do it herself, but she most definitely was aware um, because they over, they over, or he rather overplayed his hand, but he's dead. He's not alive, y'all. He gone. Five of down. He gone. He gone. He out of here, okay? With that tennis spell, he gone, okay? Um, he is not, he is not here. Okay. Um, five of diamonds. Um, they're saying that, you know, uh, sometimes they're saying that we really need to avoid listening to false information, um, and different things like that. Sometimes, you know, they're saying that we can, um, we, as in humanity, the public, we can, uh, what is the word? Not romanticize. That's not the word, but we can, um, make things, make things more smoke and mirrors than what they actually are. Um, sometimes the truth is just, is, is, you know, it's just the truth. Like there is no story, no rhyme or reason, different things like that to it. He's gone and he's dead. Um, and the people that did it actually inherited his fortune. And it's funny because my next question was going to be, so what happened, if he is dead, what happened to all the money? Like what happened to the money and the people that, and the people that killed him, um, his network of people because it's not just um, like these are like some maybe I'm kind of even scared to even talk about these people myself um, uh, but these people they um, it's a really big international foreign network you know what I'm saying um, with the organization you know with the organization I'm calling them an organization because they are uh, that decided to off with his head yeah, and he knew he was gonna get up out of here. He knew it. It wasn't even nothing new to him, you know. Yeah, he uh, he. Five of clubs, nine of spades, and then um and then my two of hearts coming out. Yeah, he knew he was gonna get up out of here because he knew he had over. He knew he had um overplayed his hand. And actually, his death was a 
forced S word, right? It was forced. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was forced. Like he didn't opt to do that himself. Like they were like, you finna do this. And that's all she wrote. And so, yeah, yeah. I said this reading was gonna be quick because I really just had those few questions about it. Um, so, oh no, I forgot I got to ask uh, what happened to his fortune because I had more questions about this. Um, with the five of clubs and nine of spades and the two of our, yeah, mm hmm yep. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did not voluntarily do that to himself. It was definitely, uh, orchestrated and he was, and he was made to do it. And let me just go ahead and say what else I'm uh, picking up on too. Um, he was made to do it in a way where, um, where, where it did legit look like, um, an S word, right? Like he unalived himself. Like it was like, he was made to, to, he, he was made to make it look that way because, um, the, because this organization, this international network, whatever it is that, you know, that he was a part of, um, they did not want, okay, how can I, how can I say this? So like the medical examiner people, um, like those people that would have, would have been, um, examining his dead body, they didn't want any traces of them around or that they or, or that they were there around. Is, does that make sense? Did I say that clear enough? They did not want any traces of their presence around. And so that's why they made it look that way because they don't want to be exposed and brought to the light. So now I got to see what happened to his fortune. And who was they? Yes, let's get it into who was they? Who was they? So the first question is what happened to their what happened to his fortune and then we go get into the who was they unless you just reveal it. Child, them folks put that money up. They split it down the middle. They, yeah. Five of hearts, seven of clubs, in the ten of spades. Um, his fortune was really low-key um, a farce. I feel like um, the city the city um, and the state and even, or like the individual governments, local and or um, national governments, depending on where all his properties and stuff like that were, they actually own it now. Um, but it's in some type of like trust I'm seeing that the organization has, right? So I don't know if like we can have like two, two co-owners or something like that, but but that is what I'm picking up on. Or maybe the us, the public can't have that, but clearly people with this type of, um, with this type of, of power and money, you know, can obtain those things because his stuff is locked up in some type of trust. And, um, and it, it can only be touched and accessed by, um, by some of the people that are within his, his organization. And I'm really seeing that they actually really don't even need it. Like they don't even really care about his money, um, or his assets, like the different things that it is that he has. Like, I'm not seeing that they even are concerned or even care about it. It's just locked up, just really just sitting there. Like all of his, um, like all of his wealth, all of his money, I'm even seeing and picking up on that, the money, that it is that he had was really just like a perception. Like he really didn't have anything. Like he only had it when he was here is what it is that I'm picking up on. Like he only had it because it was being supplied by, um, by someone else or other parties. Like it wasn't like his actual, um, wealth that it is that he was gaining himself. So he really don't have nothing. The only thing <laughs> he really did. Yeah. He really doesn't have anything. He has his properties. He has, um, paintings and like other, like, you know, um, very expensive items and stuff like that, that he actually did own that he bought with the money that it is that he, you know, or th that he was supplied with and the lifestyle that it is that he did have, but he really don't have nothing to give nobody. Um, yeah, ain't no money. 
there's properties and other assets, but it ain't really, yeah, I ain't really, you know, the government has those things in the, in, the, in the organizations, the government and the organizations together that he was a part of and like the more so like secret organizations and even some that are not secret, I don't know of any, um, but they are the ones that actually have access to those things and own those things. They have the trust to that. And so my last question is, will the people that were exposed on the list earlier this month, Will the people on that list be investigated? Well, I know one thing about it. I'm going to have to read about them, right? And I'm not, let me just preface, I'm not, not going to read every single person on the list because I don't even know every single person. I'm really just going to read the the people and the celebrities that it is that I know of. But if y'all want to know um, further about anybody, then just put that down in the comment section. Um, and I'm just going to simply ask, what was they doing over there at Epstein Island? Like, what, what was you doing over there? You know what I'm saying? What was you doing over there? What was your purpose? You know what I'm saying? That's going to be my only question. So those readings are probably going to short too, depending on how they flow. But, um, but yeah, so other answers, what will, let me see, what will the people on the list, no, no, will the people on the list be investigated? I'm trying to read my handwriting. Be investigated or punished? Are they going through like an active investigation? Four, three, two, one. I'm hearing, um, and this is going back to my previous question, that Ghislaine, she was the one with the actual money and resources. She helped to fund his lifestyle. Like, he really didn't have those things. He, 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 he yeah. Like, it wasn't off his own merit and different things. Um, nine of spades they sleep in literally with one eye open they're doing a fake investigation on them like the actual people like they're a little bit nervous because they don't want to end up um dead themselves um or they also don't want their reputation sullied um and their business partnership sullied but i really don't see them taking any of these people down hardly um yeah, I'm like they're not going and I say hardly because it's like they're not really going to get the the justice that it is that they deserve to be dealt with. Um this is just more so all um just public just just you know just like public shame and and, and guilt and then their own uh guilt and different things like that. I feel like somebody, some people on the list um have maybe even been experiencing some hauntings. Um I don't know who that is, but um, but it's one of the oh, mm, it's Ghislaine. She is actually she's been actually um experiencing some hauntings, like some type of like like she's having trouble sleeping at night, like she's having bad dreams and stuff like that. Well, good, good. She deserves to be haunted and tormented. Um, and anybody else um, who was, you know, who was guilty. But are they, I mean, yeah, they're going to go through like little different stuff, the people on the list, but they're not really going. I don't I, I don't see any really big prosecutions um, coming along. It's moving very slow. It's actually not a priority of theirs right now. There is going to be um, some, some executive or some type of producer um, somebody with a really big name and a lot of power and influence. I don't think that we maybe necessarily know this person. We may know of this person, but they're going to be brought to justice this year. Um, in relation to, in relation to the whole Epstein Island and things like that. Yeah. They're going to be brought to, um, they're going to experience public shame this year. But in then even aside from that, um, I feel like they may get unalive too actually i think i think somebody that is threatening to um that is threatening to speak out or um somebody who they are proving themselves to be disloyal from this network of people from all the people that were involved in conspiring yeah that person that's speaking out they yeah they need to watch their back because they may not be here this year they gon' they gonna get brought to justice in the public eye of opinion this year, but then they gonna mess around and not be here this year. Yeah. And I said that exactly, exactly how I picked up on it. Um 
all in the same year. Dang. Dang. Are, uh, is this person guilty? Let me see. Oh, I, I don't even have to turn over, turn over any cards. I just heard a really big resounding yes. This person actually is guilty of the acts that it is that they, um, you know, that they did on Epstein Island. But this person is wanting to more so save themselves. Yeah, we'll hear about them this year. All right, um, that is the reading. If you all have any other questions about Jeffrey um, or Ghislaine or any other people that were connected to him, put those things um, in, the, in the comment section. And thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.